Good evening. Welcome to the Town of Deerfield it's Board of Selectmen and Board of Health meeting on July 15, 2020 at 5.03 p.m. in the main meeting room here in the municipal offices at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. Meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate and alternative means of public access where required. Public participation provided in accordance with Governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, MGL Chapter 30A, Section 20. The remote dial-in number is 206-331-4800. Enter the pin 681-541-364 pound. Or you can use your computer and it's webinar.anymeeting.com slash 681-541-364. Um, so we've called the meeting to order. We are not having executive session. We are going to have an abbreviated meeting. So Trevor can handle the reopening of the school meeting, which is very exciting. Uh, is there any select board announcements, Trevor? Um, ooh, we've been on a bunch this week, but no, I think um, when we get back together, we're hoping to have a meeting next week. Right? We're hoping to have a yeah, meeting. Yeah, we'll next have week. a meeting next week. We'll, we'll jump back on that stuff. But, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just a quick COVID update. Please keep wearing your mask. Please keep your distance, watch your distance, and wash your hands. The reason why you wash your hands for 20 seconds while you sing the birthday song is so you can break down the outer shell of the virus. People wanted to know why you were washing your hands for the birthday song. That's why. So please, the three W's, mask, watch your distance, and wash your hands. It's part of a, a layering of your protection. So we're moving on. Um, letter of support for the Conway Mass Works grant. I would make a motion to approve signing that. Yes, I, 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 as well, I would uh, second that uh, motion. Okay. To approve the, this is the letter to the Conway Mass Works grant for reconstruction of Shelburne Falls Road. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call. Carolyn. Roll call. Oh, aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. we're moving on to the transfers. We have transfers, that's why we're having a meeting tonight. Uh, instead of uh, putting it off, uh, we have to. Yeah. 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 Do you want me to read those? Yes, why don't, um, why don't we just vote them all together because they're pretty reasonable, so. So I attended last night, I attended the finance committee meeting. Um, with Casey and Brenda and, and the Finance Committee, and we went over all of these. There was, they were all unanimous. They approved all of them. Normally, we do this, these transfers between accounts um, earlier in the year before town meeting, and then we go to town meeting and ask for appropriations. We were, um, we've been very concerned in trying to keep as much free cash in the system for next year, because we know next year is going to be really tough for everybody. Um, so what we did was, um, moved money between accounts. So we had two reserve fund transfers from the reserve fund um, to pay for certain things. And then the others were kind of moving from say the select board salary to a select board expense or something, vice versa. And we'll go through those. So it's kind of not raising any other money. It's just kind of moving money we had budgeted and hadn't spent into other lines that we had to overspend because of COVID and all the other unforeseen. Unanticipated expenses. Unanticipated. So uh, the first uh, first one is I'll just read them through. So this is um, from the treasurer collector general expense to the treasurer collector's staff salaries is thirty uh, three thousand five hundred ten dollars and seventeen cents. This was to cover um, uh, employee step up to cover some maternity leave. So that that's fine. Um, the uh, the second one was um, from the select eleven thousand dollars from the select board staff salaries to legal expense because we had quite a few legal items that we had to spend this year that were over and above budgeted. Um, so that was approved five zero unanimous. Um, 
we are also moving twenty three thousand dollars from the select board salaries to contracted services that was to pay for a lot of the stuff we you know dealt with with uh, technology upgrades different um, different uh, grant programs that we, MVP grant things that kind of came up throughout the year that we paid for out of contracted services um, technical, assistance technical assistance that was unanticipated yep. at the time we developed the budget yep so um, so again, that, that we moved about $34,000 from select board staff salaries. And about a year and a half ago, I, I wanted to just say this for the record, that about a year and a half ago, I had asked for increases in the select board staff salaries to hire um, assistant town administrator, town administrator, and have some other support staff for that. Um, and I said at the end of the year, if we weren't gonna use that, we we're gonna roll that in free cash. We ended up this year because of the COVID stuff and all we had to do, instead of that money going into free cash, it's going to pay for these items out of our, out of our um, staff salaries. Um, and because we were late in hiring you know, our staff, we had this money left over. So I just wanna make that clear because when you tell somebody you're gonna do something, I want to explain why we've done something a little different. Um, by the end, and I think everybody was on board with that too, five zero. So we explained that. The other item would be um, we were moving $6,000 from the general highway expenses to the transfer station expenses because now we have full, full time, two people working full time up there and some other expense. So that was just covering a small shortfall there, taking them out, out of the same. There was budget. also extra hours for, mm -hmm. um, you know, sanitation, you know, wiping down because of COVID and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Um, the, uh, this is another uh, small one from um, Board of Health Expenses was $1,000, and this was um, from Board of Health Expenses to Board of Health Salary, and that was to pay for, um, we had some extra help come in to pay for some uh, litigation we were dealing with, and um, so that was... It was, that was, it was for Charlie Konecki to go to court with Dick and I. Yep, to address an issue. Yep. So that's fine. Um, the other item is for... Uh, this is moving $13,000 from workman's comp to unemployment mm -hmm. insurance because we're uh, concerned we don't have any numbers from the state yet. Casey explained this a little better than me, but um, we're just preparing that in case we do have some, um, some unemployment claims coming through, mainly from the schools because the summer programs aren't working, that kind of thing. Um, we just wanted to make sure we don't have any workman's comp claims, so we have money to move over from that right. line to. to we just line. don't have final numbers. We have anticipated costs based on estimates, yep. but and they're FY20 estimates that we just received. Right. I'm not kidding you. Yep. L less than two weeks ago. Yep. So that was approved as well. And the last item was um, three thousand six hundred dollars from the health insurance school account to the health insurance town account, and that's just. Barb does a really good job of kind of figuring out which section needs how much a year, and sometimes it's off a little bit. And, and this was just moving some from the school, which we had plenty into the uh, to the town expense to cover a small shortfall, of just over thirty five hundred dollars. So um, those are all of them. And I think the only other things we dealt with last night were reserve fund transfers, but that's done with the finance finance committee, committee does that deal with that. So they approved all of that five to zero as well. So. I would make a motion to approve these um, these requests for appropriation transfers between accounts. I will second that motion. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Great. Great. And then I, I don't know if we all sign this or just, it looks like there's room. Yeah, you all, you, sign, you both sign okay. the transfer request. Um, the municipal uh, aggregation? We were gonna put that, well. Do, what do you wanna do with that? It's a longer conversation yeah. than I can have. Denise Allard needs to talk to us. Yep. And because because Trevor needs to go to this reopening meeting for the school committee, yep. um, we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to put it off. Yep. And then the... Um, the only other thing I was really... Waste of water. The waste, uh, uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we're doing the um, contracts for the solid waste district. Right, um, so we've got three contracts for the solid waste da management district. Um, sludge hauling, hauling and disposal, and plastics, the plastics okay. container, I think. Cultural plastics. Yeah. Except we have a container like 30 okay. for the year. And I so mean, they're memorandums of, in, of agreement. Um, 
between the town. And I think it's relatively boilerplate at this it point. Is. It's our, and it's normally what we do. It's just, again, it's late because of COVID. And also we were having, you know, everything is increasing. So we were trying to find the best deal. Yep. So um, Janamine has forwarded this to us. So I make a motion we sign the sol uh, Franklin County Solid Waste Management contracts for this coming year. I'll second that motion. Okay, all those in favor? I, Trevor McDaniel. I, Carolyn Ness. Okay, so why don't you sign these? Okay. And um, so uh, there's two other contracts that are coming up, and here's what my request is. We've got the contract for, um, hold on, I just had it open. Oh, crap. I just had it open. We've got the Nunes, so the Noons, I'm sorry, I mispronounced it. Um, the Noons contract for the green infrastructure, we sent it out to them. We're waiting for them to send it back to us with signatures and the old Frontier Solar 3 contract. Um, that's been in negotiation. It was the one that we approved right. the pilot for 27.5. It was the last article on town meeting floor, right. I think. So um, Scott Remmer is, he's the person from Old Frontier. He's gonna send us the scan signatures um, and he actually was supposed to get it to me by five, but he's he had a problem. So we'll just put it off. To what I was no, what I was going to say is, would the board m mind voting to approve that contract and sign oh, yeah. at their convenience when we receive it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it isn't it? I mean, we need to get going on it. Right, that's one so, of the okay. reasons is because we right. have to send it to the board of assessors. I'm hoping next week. Okay. Skip's on vacation, so I can't talk to I'll him. I'll make about a motion um, that we'll sign it. Um, it sign it your in. approve it now and sign it at your convenience oh, yeah. okay. once we receive it. All right. It, um, hearing no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye, Governor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Okay. And so can we do that for the Nunes one? I sent that out separate mm -hmm. this afternoon. The Nunes contract is the green infrastructure I contract. That. I saw that. The only the only thing I was concerned about is the site, uh, you know, that tree. If it grows up high enough, it won't it will be all right, but there'll be like a year period. I mean, we just got to be careful. It doesn't block any view. And so that's what we've been doing in the planning meeting. So that by the time we do the construction, Noons yep. understands that. Yeah. Um, so we have another meeting about that. I just don't okay. remember one. It's just, it was just a observation. Uh, actually, John Pachork made that as well. Um, I was just concerned about, you know, making sure that you see the street, but it will certainly be a huge improvement, um, you know, for the elementary school. So. And so support. that would. I make a motion we um, sign that contract at our um, when it comes in at our leisure. So approve the Noons contract and sign at your convenience yes. when we receive the signed version from them. Yes, I'll make that and motion. We confirm the cost on that. Because it's two thirty six two eighty two. That the notice of award said I think it was two thirty six two eighty two. We voted that a couple weeks ago. Right. Yeah. That's what I was just yep. confirming. We we confirm that. Okay. Um, so I'll second that motion. Um, hearing no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Okay, the only other thing that I wanted to do is we just, um, Dedic has business to do, so I mm -hmm. was going to, um, oh, no, wait, there's also the flu vaccine, but I wanted to make sure we appointed Frank Sherburn, John Pachoric Sr., um, Frank Morrill Jr., is it? Well, it's I think Frank. it's Frank Morrow. Yeah, yeah Frank Morrow. And um, Chris Harris to the DDIC board. Okay. Yeah, I, I would I'd recommend that as well. I would second that motion. I'm very excited they're willing to serve. Oh, absolutely. So, so who was it? Frank Sherburn? Frank, Frank Sherburn. Sherburn. John Pachork Sr. 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 Frank Morrow. And Frank Morrow. Okay. And, and uh, Chris Harris. Chris Harris. That will give us okay. a full board. That, yeah. gives, that gives us a completely full board. Right. Okay. Um, okay. I, uh, I made the motion. You sec I seconded. Yep. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Dedic will be happy. Um, yep. Can, can you just let Rick Andriel know mm -hmm. so that he knows that he can have a meeting? Yep. Um, Somebody needs to mute themselves. Somebody, can somebody mute themselves if they're not talking? Because we can't meeting, hear. Please, thank yep. you. And then the one thing that um, came up today, uh, well, actually yesterday, um, we, I had thought we got $100,000 to, um, for flu vaccine clinics for, and, um, I, because I've been looking for free vaccine. And 
So I heard we got $100,000, so I assumed it was for Franklin County. It is for all of Western Mass, and it is not for the purchase of, of flu vaccine, it's for other supplies. So who knows how much we'll actually get, maybe a couple thousand bucks by the end of the day, because it has to be approved towns and there's all kinds of rigmarole, but don't worry, we're gonna make it and we'll get our little scrubby money. But, uh, so that will help with the supplies. Um, but we, uh, based on our meeting and my conversations with Lisa, we have 500 doses allocated to Deerfield. Conway has 250, so um, I'm hoping to purchase 250 more um, and get in the queue. Right now, we have to the end of the week to purchase the vaccine. Um, it's, it's roughly $19, but we should anticipate having to pay 22 given the market, the prices keep creeping up. And, um, but we get reimbursed for 25 with, um, you know, insurance cards. So how many doses are you thinking? 250 plus, but how much will we be buying? We would be buying 250 additional. I additional from what? From so 750 the, total. Yeah. From the 750 total. We're going to have That's the four. Ouch. Uh, we, uh, most of that we can cover under the board of health expense and um it will come back to us at about 25 dollars so we're actually make money on this if it, uh, but do so do we have um so obviously we don't budget for this every year no and we, need we don't to that's we that. haven't well well this is an unusual year i well based on the conversation that we had at finance committee last night you know they were concerned on some of these things like the previous work we had to do on the park place and they're like well why are we are not told about this why aren't we budgeting it and i said well these are things that you need to do to run a town and some things you come up unforeseen but i'm thinking on this expense i just think going forward we should budget for it i mean regardless if we get paid back or you know i, I hope we do um but we should have a line item to cover the cost so that we're not like pulling all of our money out of or to health expense. I know. We have all these other I know. things. We have mesquite triple E showing up. With I know. I know. So I, the only good thing is the trip. If if the triple E, we will you know can kick it down right. the road, paying it for another few months. So hopefully we get reimbursed by the time we have well, to we, deal with the triple E bills. Don't get reimbursed. No, no, we would. We the, we will get reimbursed because we are uh, we have a insurance provider number, mm -hmm. and so um, Lisa gets reimbursed for our 500 doses already. Okay. And she's pre-ordered us 500 doses. Okay. So you're talking so, about purchasing 250 more. Right. So this is not budgeted for. So this is about five thousand five. About that five thousand yeah. dollars. Okay. So um, and we do have money right now in the board. Yes, of health in the expense. board of health budget. And like I say, for every shot we get, the reason why it will make about three bucks. It will make about three bucks. So, um, and and all our supplies are going to be paid for. We have Mapco money that um, yep. we uh, allocated for the flu clinics. The reason why is because we need to practice for our, in, so we can run a COVID right. practice. Right. No, I so get what it. we're going to yeah. do is it seems like Conway, Conway hasn't voted yet on this, but they're going to come and participate with our seniors. So Good. we'll have the seniors clinic on September 30th, just like we do the food pickup. Yep. We'll get through. you drive through. You'll have your shots and it will be the extra strength senior shots oh, available yeah. there. You can get the regular adults or you can get the senior extra strength. October 4th at the highway garage, we're only going to be doing the adults and children. Lisa is ordering extra children, but through DPH, we can get that free. Um, yes, or some, free. there is some subsidy or something. We don't actually have to purchase that, but we have not, we, I would feel better if we could order 500, but I, you can't give it back. Right. So I would rather go with a 250, get in the queue, make right. sure we get that solidly ordered, then see what our pre-registration, we're going to try to pre-register. Right. And if we get 
solidly 750 people. Well, then yeah. we're going to get in another queue somewhere and we'll so, start screaming for more vaccines. Casey, can we just send the Finance Committee a memo just stating that, you know, this has come up. We'd like to plan for next year for budgeting purposes, at least covering. We know we're going to get paid back, but we should still have a line item for it in the future. And just to let them know, you know, we're going to be purchasing this. We're working with Conway regionally to do this. We should be getting money paid back for insurance on every dose we go out. But shouldn't um, we add this to Board of Health expense? That's where it would appropriately yeah. fit. Yeah, we yeah. Would so we would add, add an item in FY twenty two. I think it makes sense to do that. Well, I, really I mean, I mean, I, even though you're going to get money back, at yeah. least you're accounting for it and you're planning for it. So it's not one of these things we have to explain. So yeah, why we purchased and why we're getting it back. But yeah, well, we're gonna we haven't checked because it just came up. We didn't even check with Brenda if it goes back into the Board of Health or mm -hmm. if it goes to the general fund, you right. know, the reimbursement. Okay. So we'll, so have, to we'll, fi that. we'll have to figure it out. Yep. If it goes to the general fund, I certainly want to explain it to the Finance right. Committee. If it goes back to the Board of Health, it's no, not a big deal because we're just then going to pay out from the mosquito stuff. So yeah. it doesn't matter. I just wanted them aware because we had this, a, a, a good discussion last night of, and I said that I would be more forthcoming in what we're doing. And, when things come up like this, we just let them know. So it's not a year and a half later we tell them. Yeah, hey, this is what I, we did. people just have to realize it's not this. That we're not going to do it. It's right. This is a public safety thing. Yeah. It's just it's fun. these things pop up. Okay. And I really thought we were going to get free flu vaccine and. So, I'll so we're point. paying for 250 additional vaccinations. Okay. 250 more doses, adult doses. We're Two. not buying children because we can get additional children. Okay. Um, already, but we cannot get, we have to actually have cash to pay for and get in line for the additional 250. Okay. And the reason I'm, we're all really nervous is because it's already backing up mm -hmm. in the order. Yep. There's no, a I lot more interest in flu shots. So. Okay. okay. I just want to so, clarify that. Uh, make, can I make a motion to yep. um, uh, pay, uh, purchase additional 250 flu vaccines for adult purchase for um, for the flu season this year. Yep. I'll second that. Is there any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay, okay so, so. Um, then I'll, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Thank you so much for allowing me to scoot out like oh, this. Oh, no, no. Thank you, Trevor, for working on the opening of school. Right. That's very important. You need to second that motion. Oh, second. All those now in favor? Now you need to vote. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. <laughs> aye, Carolyn Ness. All right. Thank you very much.